Hello friends! Today I'm going to be doing some maintenance on my Morso 1410 wood stove. It's a small wood stove, sometimes referred to as the squirrel stove. It heats up our little house real nice. The dogs love it. I'll start with just emptying out the ash pan. I haven't fired the stove in about three months, so everything in here is perfectly cool. But that being said, I've got a metal garbage can. I've got gloves and a dust mask. Using this little shaker box thing to uh, do a couple rounds of that, get as much out without having to use the vacuum. I'm using an older Dyson handheld vacuum that has a nice HEPA filter on it. My dog loves to attack the vacuum. I don't know what's wrong with her. I'm also gonna plug in a HEPA air filter to just scrub the air as the dust particles get kicked up. Scraping around here, just trying to figure out where the edges are. What, what I need to kind of work out with my hands, what I need to vacuum out. And you'll see that crack in the fire brick there. I'll deal with that in just a minute. So I got the fire brick here and at some point I got a crack in it. The fire brick does get banged from time to time as you load the wood. And the manufacturer doesn't seem to have an issue with it, but I thought it'd be a wise update to make here. The high temperature mortar instructions have you rinse the brick so that the brick doesn't pull the moisture right away out of the mortar mix. And it calls for 1 32nd of an inch. I'm not sure what that is, I just kind of butter it up. Do the other part. Put the first part in. Get the second part in, kind of snug it up. I think that's about 132nd. What do you think? Now on to clean the wood stove viewing glass. This is one of the weird things in the world where they sell fireplace window cleaner. But the best thing is to use the ash. So what I got here is just a paper towel that's kind of wet. Then draw up some of the ash and then just use it as a mild abrasive. Even the soot that's really, really carbonized and you wouldn't think would come off, comes off. It's almost like nothing can clean the soot off these windows except itself. So you can see that cleans up real nice. Getting some of the creosote. I do end up pulling that fiberglass gasketing off, kind of wire brushing around, applying some high temperature sealant and then reusing that gasket. Reinstalling the little bits and bobbles here. So I might as well start up a fire. The high temperature mortar needs actually temperature to set it and it started snowing a beautiful day and the dogs are looking forward to it. Super cozy. You know, I have been YouTubing for a while as a hobbyist. I really appreciate all your returning viewers and new viewers. As a hobbyist, I'm not so much interested in monetization but I am interested in reaching that milestone as a creator. But the pursuit of this monetization goal is really difficult. You can see that I've got a long way to go for watch time. If you would like to help me on this journey, here's a couple ways you can help. If you legitimately know somebody who would enjoy this content, please share it with them. If you've thought about subscribing but just haven't been asked, please do subscribe. If you're looking for something to kind of fill your ears while you do the dishes or take a run or work in the garage, consider playing one of my playlists in the background. Thank you for tuning in and we will see you on the next video.